my name is Wanda. Everybody calls me Lady Name because I was, uh, when I was fresh out of high school, I was signed to an independent record label and we were trying to think of a name for me and my fellow record label people said, well, we'll call her Lady. My name is D. Wanda. So we'll I grew up on the east side of Detroit. Uh, all of my life. Two beautiful children, boys. And I have a handsome, handsome, handsome husband. I've been with him for five and a half years. It'll be six years. And we've been married for two years. The way he looked at me. The way his eyes. It was, it's something about the eyes to me. Um, like I was the most beautiful thing he ever saw. Like I was his queen. Our souls kind of connected because I believe that the key to the soul is in the eyes. And, and then the way he treat me or treats me like a queen, like a princess. So that's what really attracted me to him. The way he, he wanted me and I wanted him. That's a little bit too much. <sighs> well, um, I consider myself to be the average viewer of a lot of the reality shows that come on TV. And I feel like we needed to give Detroit a voice. Um, Detroit is not all glitz and glamour, depending on what part you go to, what part you're from. It's not all coffee, tea, donuts, gold, rust, whatever. It's not all of that. Um, but... I feel, one second, I feel like I needed to do the show because somebody, we, we need to let them see how Detroit really is. And we want to give you guys the truth. Um, we're going to take y'all to the hood. We're going to take y'all out the hood. We're going to take y'all to the parts over there and over here that they think is Detroit, but it's really not. <laughs> so we're just going to have some fun with it and we're going to give y'all real life. Here strong in Detroit. quality about me is that I consider myself to be a strong, independent woman. And I get my independence and my strength from my mother, my grandmother, my aunties, all the women that have been in my life and helped to raise me. I feel like I've inherited strength because when I look back at uh, the women, like my grandmother who had almost a, a, a basketball team, <laughs> of children, so for a woman to be that strong and raise boys and girls to be strong people just mean a lot to me. Then I think back to her mother and her mother's mother. I come from a, a family of strong women and I just inherited my strength and my independence because you gotta do what you gotta do. To be a one day walk in shoes. I would be Mary J. Blige because she is Powerful. She's a powerhouse singer. I love her voice. I love when she sings. It's touch everybody in the audience, especially when she do her songs when she's crying. So I just love that. Myself as outgoing. Um, I'm free spirited. I feel like I love to live. I love life. So I'm, I'm outgoing. I just I'm a happy person in one word. That was more than one word, wasn't it? Whatever. I'm a hairstylist. I like to do hair. I like to play basketball. I rap. I sing. Um, I'm a big, big sports person, so I love, love insight on fashion. I would say, do what you like. Do what you want to do. What anybody thinks doesn't matter as long as you feel good about it when you wear it. Whatever. I mean... Just do what makes you happy. Wear, if you want to put on two left shoes, one yellow, one orange, and it feel good, and you think you look good, do whatever you feel like you want to do. Because nine times out of ten, the person that's saying something about it or doing or talking about it, or, Ooh, look at her, whatever, it's the person that that had that doesn't have the honeys to do it. So they looking at you like, no, she didn't, because they they ain't got the balls to do it. So do whatever you like. Be a free spirit. You want to wipe your hair blue to the back and puffed out at the back, whatever. If it look good, I feel that rock Detroit it. has come a long way and is still going and got a long way to go. I feel like Detroit still has a lot to offer if we all work together to do things 
that need to be done, and we stop with the lying, mm. deceitfulness, and then everybody stop being against each other, and we come together. I think Detroit will be on back on the right path in no time. And what can we do to make it better? Work together. Everybody stick together. We all going through right now with the economy being the way it is. Jobs are scarce. So now, if, if there was ever a time to come together, it's now. That's Growing up in Detroit has taught me how to be a survivor. To sum it all up, a survivor because when you don't have, like when you down on your knuckles and you might, you might not have a place to stay, you might not have no food to eat, we, n we don't give up. We have no choice but to, but to survive. You get out here and you hustle. It taught you how to hustle. If you got to do hair, you got to do pedicures, manicures. If you don't know how to do it, you go find out how to do it. Detroit taught me how to be a hustler, how to survive. And hustling is surviving. So that's I what Detroit has taught that. me. Every woman, either in Detroit or wherever you may be, I'm trying to think of uh, words to tell you without giving you a lecture because I'm good at that. She needs to know who she is. Strength. Like, when you see me and you talk to me, you get who I am. You know, I think she just needs to know what path she's supposed to be taking in, in life. Uh, when she's when she's going in for interviews or going in with the big dogs or whatever, she needs to go in there strong and you know present herself like you know I'm a woman. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing, and I'm gonna tell you what it is. Bam, 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 bam. And when she's done talking, the whole room is blown away. <laughs> That's what, that's what I think women need to know to succeed. You go in there and you be who you who you are. You know what you're talking about. You know what you want. Period. Point blank. So that concludes my interview. And it's more interviews to come with the rest of the cast. Uh, like I said, we're going to bring it to y'all raw. We're going to give y'all the heart of Detroit. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Let us know what you think and how you feel. Till then, smooches.